Welcome to the video. My name is Chris. I am a team leader and a realtor. I've been in the business for seven years and I don't know how many times mortgage lenders have approached me to start working together and I've seen multiple approaches. So this is a common question that comes up all the time. And if you're someone that just got their mortgage license, you might be wondering, how can I start getting realtor relationships and start building business with these top agents in your market? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down what most people do and why it doesn't work. And then I'm going to basically break down what works and what I'm receptive to and most agents that I know are receptive to and what will actually work, help grow your business. So let's dive right in the video. Okay, so I wanted to do this video because I know many lenders struggle with this thing, trying to build relationships with realtors, and they oftentimes get frustrated and they don't get very far. And the ones that do get far build great businesses and they get a lot of referrals. So I wanna break this down as someone that is a real estate agent that gets quite a few phone calls and I wanna share with you what actually works in my opinion. So basically there's, there's two things. I'm going to go over what most people do, and then I'm going to go over what actually is working right now in the market and what will actually catch real estate agents attention. So the very first thing is what most people do. The, the, the most common phone call that I get is let's go get coffee. And that's great, but you got to keep in mind if you're prospecting busy agents, you know, they probably have clients, they have things they have to do. They have to, you know, hustle just like you and make commission come through the door because that's how they put food on the table. So sitting around all day getting coffee with new lenders is probably not on the top of their priority list, right? And it's nothing against you. Don't take it in a negative light because you might be a great person and the agent might love to get coffee with you. I know I'd love to get coffee with a lot of people that call me, but there's just not enough time in the day. So getting these calls on a consistent basis and they're the same thing, a lot of agents just tend to tune them out and kind of just move on with their day. So you're probably getting not great reactions if this is the approach that you're taking because a lot of other people that just got their mortgage license, they're doing the same exact thing. And in order to get the attention of real estate agents that are actually producing, you have to stand out. And this is not the way to stand out. The next thing is um, you'll get the, the calls. I do a good job. So give me a chance, send me a client and I'll show you how great of a job I do. Agents don't want to hear that because agents that are established that you want to work with, they already have lenders they have relationships with. And I know myself, I have lenders that I've been working with since I got started. And those lenders, you know, reached out to me. They saw something to me. They asked me to go get coffee, right? And I went to go get coffee because it was brand new and I had the time to do that. And I wanted to learn from these lenders who are experienced and get some more knowledge. But if you're calling experienced agents that already have a book of business, this might not be the best approach because they already have lenders that they prefer working with that they know will get the job done. And in my opinion, I know this isn't always the case, but this should just be like a prerequisite. Like I do a good job. Like you should do a good job. That should be like a given. So you advertising that you do a good job doesn't really do much for me or a lot of experienced agents because we already know lenders that do a good job. So why am I going to take my client, take the risk on your word when I already have someone I know performs on their word and has performed for the last you know years that I've worked with them. So that's the challenge you're facing as a new loan officer that's trying to get their business off the ground. And I get it because we face that same thing in the real estate business. You know, we have to do this with clients. We have to chase sellers that are like, Hey, why are you different? You know, there are thousands of agents in the market all fighting for the same business. So it's very similar. You know, I, I totally get it and it can be frustrating, but what I want to do is I want to tell you what actually could work and what things you might want to try that will actually give you a higher success rate. So again, remember you want to add value and stand out. So hashtag add value. This is like, my biggest thing in business, add value and you will win, right? Always add value. That's the key rule of entrepreneurship. If you're adding value, you're going to win, right? You might not win every time, 
but the chances of you winning go up significantly. The more value you add, the more the market will reward you. So just, just remember that. That's the biggest takeaway from this video. If you get nothing else from this video, that's the biggest takeaway. But here's some, some things that actually will work for you. So when you call an agent, especially a busy agent, get right to the point, right? Don't waste a lot of time. Just get to the point. What do you want? Who are you? And what kind of value can you give, right? You have to get to the point. Don't waste a lot of time. Get to the point, be professional, and try to add value as quick as possible. Now, here are some ways you can add value. You might be asking, like, how do I add value if going out for lunch or coffee and building relationships isn't what real estate agents really want? What can you do to add value? Well, you have to show them that you're a hard worker because this agent, they probably started from the bottom. They probably been where you're at and they want to know that you're a really hard worker. And if you want to get into their network of preferred lenders, you're going to have to show them that. So here are a couple ways to do it. The very first way is to send clients. So instead of saying, Hey, send me a client and I'll do a great job. Why don't you call agents and say, Hey, I'm a new lender. I want to be doing a lot of prospecting, a lot of calling. I want to build a really great business and I'm looking to get a small network of real estate agents that I can send new clients to that I can, you know, show how great of a job I do and how dedicated I am to this business. That's a much different conversation than, Hey, send me a client. I do a great job, right? That's a, that's a value add. And now it might take you a little while to get that client that you're going to send them, but they're much more likely to be open to talking to you if you're coming at it from that approach, because again, you're adding value to them. You're not trying to take value when you go into any marketplace and you're trying to take value. That's when things don't typically work out because people, you know, they're receptive. If you're trying to add value to their business, we're all self-employed, we're all, all independent contractors, and we all know how hard this business is. So if they see someone that just got licensed, that's out there hustling, trying to, you know, send them clients and work hard and get on the phones and prospect, they're going to be much more open to talking with you and building a long-term relationship. Now you might be saying, I don't have any clients to send. It's going to be hard for me to do that. Well, there's another way to do it. You can just offer your time. So instead of saying, let's go get a coffee. If you find a busy team or a busy agent that buys a lot of leads that needs help prospecting, you can say, Hey, why don't we get together on Wednesday every week for an hour or two and I'll help you call your leads. You know, whatever clients we get, we can work together on and help them achieve the goal of home ownership. So I'd be more than happy to help you call those leads and we can do it together. And while you're there doing that, you're building a relationship, but you're actually adding value and you're showing that agent that you're willing to work very hard to be successful. So it's a win-win. So offering value like that to somebody that has a busy schedule will go a really long way because some of these agents that are out there, they have a ton of leads. Some agents have a lead database that's full of thousands of people and they're not being called because the agent simply doesn't have time. So if you can jump in and say, Hey, let's get together. Let's work on this. Let's follow up with these people and let's make something happen. Instead of having these leads just sit there, they, that will go a long way. You know, agents will be really receptive to that because you know, you're doing something different. You're truly doing something that helps them out. And you're also doing something for yourself in the process because you're calling all these leads and these are prospective people that you might be able to help with their mortgage financing when they go buy a house. So it's a win-win. So that's one way to do it. And the next thing is to get involved. Okay. So if you show someone that you're truly involved and you care about their success, it's going to go a long way. Now there are some simple ways you can do this. You can say, Hey, let's get together and do some expos. Let's do some housing expos. Let's do some, um, wedding expos. Let's do something. Let's get out there. Let's, let's make something happen. Let's work together as a team and make something happen. Let's go out there and hustle. And a lot of agents will like that approach. The next thing you can do is simply offer yourself up for open houses. A lot of agents don't want to set open houses by themselves on the weekends. And if you call them and say, Hey, look, I'm brand new. I'm excited about this business. I would love to sit at your open house with you. I'll bring coffee. We'll have a good time and I'll do whatever I need. I'll even walk around the neighborhood and pass out flyers for you if you need me to. That is a great approach because agents don't want to sit there by themselves. First of all, 
Second of all, you're gonna put yourself in front of a lot of prospective homeowners. And while you're sitting there during the downtime, you're building your relationship just like you intended to do with that real estate agent. So you're really killing two birds with one stone with all of these different value add items. Now, do you kind of see why this is a better approach than saying, well, let's go get coffee? Like imagine yourself as an agent and imagine how you're going to stand out if you use this category versus this category. This is what most of your competition is doing and this is what you can do and this is how you can absolutely crush it this year as a mortgage lender and build a ton of new relationships with real estate agents and even established real estate agents. So I hope this helped you out. This is the approach that I would take if I got my mortgage license. And a fun fact, before I became an agent, I was actually working on the process of getting my mortgage license and getting into the mortgage business. So I've thought about this in the past. I've thought about what I would do and I've thought about some of the struggles that you might be facing as a new loan officer. So if you like this kind of content, if you like real estate content in general, subscribe. This channel is for real estate entrepreneurs. So it's mortgage people, real estate brokers, real estate agents, real estate investors. We cover it all. It's real estate entrepreneurship and we're here to help you build your real estate empire. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks again.